In our last video, we spent a bit of time looking at comments. We talked about how we can use comments to explain what's going on in our code, and we talked a little bit about how you can create JS doc comments that allow you to document your code a little bit and do some interesting and useful things. We're gonna look a little bit more at JS doc comments here. So uh, let's go ahead and, and build some examples that we had in our in the original presentation. So I'm gonna create a, uh, a JS doc comment. Now, a lot of times when you see js.comments, they kind of start with this sort of wall of asterisks that you'll see here. Uh, I don't know why that is, but it, it does kind of help the formatting. It does kind of help things flow. All of these asterisks are ignored when you actually build the documentation. They won't actually show up. Uh, so you can kind of build the same kind of, uh, the same kind of formatting here. So let's say we'll, we'll write some file-based comments. These are all functions that will be used to perform simple operations. And we'll say well, this file contains functions for square and cube. And then we can put some special tags here. We're going to use a tag called file overview. And we'll say these are this file contains simple math functions. Pretty basic. And we can also say author. We can say author is Timothy James. And you can put your own name there because there's nothing super crazy here. These are all pretty trivial. We'll say version. This is version 1.0. And you can say whatever kind of version you like here. So the and we'll save this. We'll give it a project basic math functions and we'll give it a project name and it's saved and we have my function so I'm going to change the name of my function uh, I'm going to actually create a function called my cube and I'll create a function called my square and my square is going to take three or two parameter or one parameter uh, we'll just call it num and my cube is also going to take one parameter we'll just call it num as well now we're going to write some JS doc for this. We're going to say, uh, we're going to write a function that says, this function will return the square of the number that is passed as a parameter. If I can spell it right. There we go. Got it. All right. And then we will use the JS doc uh, parameters. We'll say, at param number num the number we want to square at return number. Note that, that that's return, not returns, even though returns might seem like it makes a little bit more sense. And this is param instead of parameter. At return number, the square of the parameter. And all we have to do for this function is return num times num. So asterisk is also used for multiplication here, and we'll just return num times num. And then we'll do this again. I'm going to copy and paste this. So I'm going to select all of that. I'm going to hit Command C or Control C if you're on Windows, and Command V or Control V if you're on Windows to copy that. We're going to say the cube of the number that is passed in the parameter, the number we want to cube, the cube of the parameter. And then we're just going to return num times num times num. So now we have these functions available. If we go back to the spreadsheet that this is associated with, I can actually see exactly how they're going to work. If I, oh, we forgot one very, very important tag. Uh, you'll notice that when I start typing this, I don't get my, I don't get all of that documentation. I don't get the suggestion that that's a function I can use, and that's because we did not include that at custom function tag for both of these. We want that. Now, when we run, when we use our code, my, we'll start again, my cube, there we go. And if I click on that, you can see one thing to note is that all those asterisks, they're not in here, you know, the ones that we kind of used for the formatting. Uh, it's just telling me the text that was there. Uh, and if I use that for my cube, you can see here this is going to work. If I say my cube of five, we're going to get, I think 125, yeah, that sounds about right. Uh, if we use my cube for 10, we should get 1,000. There we go. So these functions are going to work, and we have, you know, we can use the same thing for square. My square 
And notice that I, they're not case sensitive once you get into the sheet. In, in app script, when you're using functions, you do need to think about case sensitivity, but here we can just call them however we like. So three is gonna be nine. My square of 12 is gonna be 144. So you can see this allows us to, this, these js.comments allow us to document things a little bit better, allow us to describe what we're doing a little bit better. Uh, it's just a, an easier way to kind of keep track of everything that we're doing in our code. Uh, you know, and it, it's just a good practice to get into documenting these because even though it slows you down a little bit at first, it will be valuable if you ever have to look at this code again. Thanks for watching.